Hi guys, look back here and welcome to another FIFA 19 Team of the Season Play Review and today I'm going to be reviewing the 94 rated La Liga Team of the Season, Iago Aspas. His card looks absolutely insane. He did cost me exactly 385,000 coins and in the four games that I played him with, he scored me five goals and got me one assist and he does have a freestyle with quotes as well as freestyle skill moves. Moving along to the game stats, his main standout stats are going to be his 99 positioning, his 99 finishing his uh, 98 curve and finally his 96 ball control and I did have the engine chem style applied to this team this is Naspas apologies if I am speaking lower in this video it is because I've got family members that are uh, currently asleep whilst I'm doing this so obviously I do have to take that into a bit of consideration but it shouldn't be that bad though for the video you should still be able to I'm not whispering so you should still be able to hear me pretty clearly but um yeah I messed up again unfortunately uh just like team of the season Hermoso Aspas went down in value. He's currently going for around 330,000 coins. So with tax, I lost about 70k. Um, thankfully, I've already got quite a bit of coins. It doesn't matter too much because I still got lots of other coins to do other reviews and stuff like that. But it was uh, a little bit annoying. But um, this card's very good. Now I've used Aspas. I think I might have reviewed one of his informs earlier on in FIFA, and I didn't like him. I've never been a massive fan of Aspas, but I have to say this team of the season card was very, very good. To go into Division Two foot rivals and score five goals and get one assist in four games, in my opinion, shows he's a good quality card, and uh, he did play very well for me. Now I have sold him, and I'm currently not on my account so I can't remember all of his in-game stats but I know the engine chem style increases his pace passing and dribbling I do believe so a lot of his like agility and stuff like that goes up to 99 his balance is only at like 81 but it does go up into the um into the mid to high yeah, into the high 80s, maybe even low 90s. But yeah, he didn't really need to cons like increase his finishing. That's going to be his first pro, by the way. You know, he didn't need to increase his finishing because he's already got like 99 positioning, 99 finishing. So there's no real need to increase that already. So yeah, his first pro though will be his finishing five goals in four games. Long distance, short distance, penalties. He's all good at it. He's really, really good. Um, definitely a much more left-footed player, which is, which is a problem I've had with Aspas. Um, you know, typically I never really use left-footed players when I say that, you know, they're preferred for being a left foot, and also with the case, he's only got the free star weak foot, I'm, if, I find it hard to adjust to a player that has got the preferred foot as their left foot, and has only got a free star weak foot, it's not great, it, it does make his right foot kind of useless, having said that, I think he did score me one goal though of his right foot, um, but he is a much, much predominantly left footed player, I would never really take on shots with the right foot, but when you do take on shots with the left foot, he is insane, he, from long distance, incredible, really, really good, um, scored some absolute bangers for me and just a quality finisher especially with that left foot not so much with the right foot but you know when you can get that ball to the left foot he's always going to be testing the goalkeeper which is really really good but uh, his second pro as well will be his dribbling very good dribbling stats across the board and um, feels very very smooth on the ball very um easy and being able to turn past players and stuff like that dribble past them uh you know defenders full backs defensive midfielders and stuff like that could more than do it, and he actually does feel pretty quick as well with his decent pace. A lot of the other Aspas cards for me tend to lack in pace, but this guy actually does feel like he's got insane pace, and then combining it with his really, really good well-rounded dribbling. Obviously, he's only got the freestyle skills, which, is, which isn't great, but I'm talking about his dribbling and how, you know, he kind of just feels on the ball and how he can take on players without having to use skill moves and stuff like that. He's great in that area, and uh, again, it's another nice part to the card. His final pro as well will be his passing. You know what was unlucky not to get me more than one assist. On another day, could have got me maybe two or three assists. Obviously, Obviously, when you look at the striker, you do mainly look at goals, and he certainly delivered in that area, but the fact he's also got maybe an assist and that his passing is very decent as well is also a very nice part. So now, I do look at this card, and I think if you really wanted to, you could play him as a cam. Um, if you've already got like an insane striker or you could play him as a centre forward he has got the passing stats to play in that position he's also got the really good curve and crossing his crossing from uh, from from corners and stuff like that is absolutely amazing um, he can always manage to find players from a team like Laporte Laurent Blanc players like that um, yeah I was very happy with his crossing but his general passing as well and play like little through balls and stuff like that were very good it was just a really nice extra added parts of the card that he's not just your normal striker he's also got the ability where he can more than set up chances for other attackers and stuff like that so on the whole it was a very good card listen i paid nearly four hundred thousand coins to him which is a lot and he's in the space of me buying the cards and reviewing him for two hours he went down by fifty thousand coins in my opinion buy this card despite it being a very good card buy him at caution don't, don't go straight in there and buy the cards check his price for a few hours see what happens on the lightning rounds maybe you can get him for a cheaper price around that time 
just don't go in all guns blazing. Essentially, just be very careful because you don't want to lose coins just in case this card might not work out for you or something like that. But overall, I think it is a decent card. He will drop under 300,000 coins. There's no question about it. The fact that he dropped 50,000 coins just on a Saturday morning with no lightning rounds suggests to me he will drop further come Saturday evening and Sunday with more lightning ranks to come and stuff like that. So, yeah, good cards. But if you're looking at getting him, I just hold off for a little bit longer and just keep checking his price and try and buy him for definitely under at least 300,000 coins because he will go under that price but anyway guys that is going to finish off this video i will have a sarabia and a santi cazola review for you guys coming out later today as well but for now guys i'll catch you later